What's up everybody? We're back on the Impala. Uh, you may be tired of seeing this thing by now, but I'm really trying my best to have this thing done by mid-March. Not done, drivable by mid-March. I didn't show the, the stickers on the bug catcher in the last video, so I'm playing catch up. There you go. At Greasy Boy Customs, BW's Garage, and Mortsky's Repair. Got some more coming. Got a spot for a couple more. I think I'm gonna jump in do the drive shaft i probably should service the rear end i'm really thinking about welding the spider gears up i mean there's no fun in one wheel peel mobile so i'm gonna throw the drive shaft in i probably won't connect it to the rear end just yet because i'm really thinking about welding a diff i got another one so if i tear this one up at least i have plan b um what have we got i guess since uh I guess since since the last one, I've radiators in, upper and lower hoses are on, the alternator is on, painted, mounted. Um, I'm waiting for some pipe plugs to come in so I can finish up all the coolant stuff and uh, put some coolant in it. Still have to change the distributor. There's no way that HEI would have worked. I mean, it's just. Once I got the motor put in here, transmission where it's at, there's no way. And I just couldn't beat on this firewall. You know, such a solid rig and all. Got some goodies coming in this week. And fellas, boy, have I figured out the downfall of having a YouTube channel. My wife now has video proof of everything I buy. Everything. I mean, I didn't buy this stuff. I'd like to thank my sponsors. That's what I mean right there, my sponsors. I appreciate y'all for sending me wheels, uh, tires, this intake, carburetor. You know, I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. But, yeah, let's get under this thing. Put a drive pole in. See what else we can knock out, because it's nice and warm today. All right, so I'm about to... Feed this drive shaft up through here and see how the frames and X frame so the drive shaft goes through this tunnel where the frame is. And I start seeing dirt fall out. Tell me how this car, how this thing not rust to the ground with the frame just this full of dirt. I mean, that's what's came out so far. Hearing all these motorcycles today makes me think I should have done something else instead of work on the old Impala. It is strangely warm today, and there's more dirt in here than I can get out. I'm going to use the camera and try to take a peek up in there. Maybe I should get the shop air and try to blow it out. I don't really want to use water because... Well, then I have a mud hole, but I imagine it's all the way back. All right, anyway, say bye. All right, so I need a fan shroud. So I'm gonna run E-fans on this thing. I know it won't look correct or whatever, but I got a thing about mechanical fans and the blades fling off. So I'm gonna run E-fans. So we need a shroud. All right, well, I just took the saws all to it and it, it worked pretty well. But I had these fans laying around. They were on my Suburban, so I removed them when I converted to the factory E-fans. These fit barely, so that's what I'm going to work with. I got it marked. I'm going to take a spot drill or a center drill, put some holes in this thing, and... I'm going to have to do something from here to the radiator support, like a little L bracket, C bracket, Z bracket, some bracket type thing. Might be able to use what's left of this, which would be neat to try to utilize it all. But I'm going to get these mounted and I'll get back to you. 
All right, we'll get these holes cut out for the fan on the fan shroud. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a swag off-road piece. I bought this thing years ago and lost it 15 times and never used it. So today I'm gonna use it. I don't know if I bought the wrong one or if I'm supposed to drill these out to fit my plasma cutter drag tip, but fits now. What you do is you find the center of the circle you want and each pin has got it's threaded on each end and then they're actually drilled in different locations to move it a quarter of an inch so you can always kind of find the center of your circle and I think it goes up to a 12 inch circle but swag off-road I actually got several things from swag um, maybe I'll show you later but right now we're going to get these circles put in here and see if we can't finish up something on this car today get to the other one all right i got the heat running so you'll probably get some background noise um and really much i can do about that i think it's finally warmed up to 40 in the shop here which i know some of y'all's in the you know in the overdraft of the temperature world so made these brackets the other day gopro's been acting kind of silly i don't know what's going on maybe it needs an update But uh, all I did was I just marked them, the Sharpie right there and there. Took them over to the old custom sheet metal brake here in the vise and just bent them over. Smacked them with the, the big dead blow. You kind of see how the, the fan set up. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to rivet these to that from the back side. That way I don't have any rivet sticking through and then mount these I, I thought i had some some like door edge guard or something from back when i did my razor doors i don't know what i did with it so i may just have to get some but i'm going to finish up the fan trail today and work on a couple other things and then that'll probably be it for this video I'm trying to keep them under 20 minutes so all right I'll give you an update here in a minute. All right, well, I'm gonna bolt this thing on, but I really should have had to add that on there for a little bit of, make it more rigid. She's sign material, a little thin, but uh, one white trash fan shroud. So hopefully that'll keep it cool. But I'm just gonna drill these out, quarter inch drill, and run me some quarter inch bolts and washers through the radiator mounting flange and the radiator support we'll, we'll wire these up at a later date but all right there you have it one installed white trash fan shroud made out of a repurposed sign probably get me some rubber like edge molding to go along there and hopefully this little this gap won't let you know too big an air leak if not i can get some not i can get some foam or something to put in there but that should be good two 12 inch fans hope that'll keep it cool hopefully that old radiator hangs in there because uh you know i don't really know nothing about it other than it was in this car so i reckon that'll do it for now on this video but uh i got a lot more to do and hopefully i can get it done but uh Mustang 
but go check out these other videos robert's garage roy marco's garage uh, straight six fan again thanks for the for the logo coastal auto reaction real world garage narcs elliptic customs i did that one try this time I'm getting better uh, bw's garage i'll put the links down the, down below oh and jaws he's got a pretty sweet 57 110 i think it is like gasser type build go uh go check those guys out again thanks for watching appreciate it if you'd subscribe the the numbers show like 70 some percent of the viewers are not subscribed so that would really help if you'd subscribe like the video comment i will talk back and forth with you you know whether it's good or bad but uh like share subscribe and we'll see you on the next one